Hello and welcome to the next section of videos in our Data Structures and Algorithms course. During this whole section, we are going to be looking at and understanding hash maps. Now a hash map is basically a key value pair system. So you put data into this using a key, such as a username or user ID, and the value will be all of the data about that relates to that key. So for example, we had a user, a username, and all of their data, for example, date of birth, etc. The thing that a hash map does better than many other structures is it gives us constant time for putting data in and constant time for getting data out. So it's not even log n, it's actually constant time. No matter how many elements you put in the structure, it's going to take the same amount of time to put an element in, and it's going to take the same amount of time to get an element out. They're absolutely useless for sorting because of the way the data is stored, but you can grab all of the elements out relatively quickly if you use a couple of nice tricks. So how does this work then? Well, functionally, we need a set of buckets, basically a big list of buckets. Maybe the list is 10 buckets long. Whenever we put an item into the structure, we take a hash of the key. A hash basically jumbles up whatever's in the key so that it kind of comes up with a number between zero and the number of buckets we have. And we use that to choose which bucket we put our data in. Now these buckets should only hold about eight data elements. Sometimes they can hold more, especially as computers are getting faster, actually memory grabs. So because of the way modern computers cache data, actually having the buckets being a bit bigger means it's actually quicker to do a comparison over that kind of size a bigger VEC than it is to load another VEC from some other part of memory. So it's up to you how big you make these buckets. And then when you go to find the data, well, you're finding it based on the name you have. So if you put it in as James, James has the age of 50 or something, and then you want to find out James's age, what well, you do the hash of James, and then you find out which bucket James must be in. And if he's not in that bucket, well, he's probably not in the data structure. So these are really useful data structures. Some people would say they are the only data structure you need. I think I heard Doug Crockford of JavaScript fame saying that. Certainly if you've used JavaScript, you find that literally everything that is not a pure primitive in JavaScript is a hash map. So everything that you would call an object in JavaScript is a hash map. That's how useful they are. 